What's going on guys? Clifton Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so today we're here to talk about another XOP product and that is the X2 climbing stick. Coming in at just over a pound and a half per stick, these things are freaking phenomenal. I think if you're on any kind of social media platform and you've looked up these X2 sticks, you've seen pictures and or videos like these where it's the stick locked on with no strap. Obviously, you're not gonna climb like that, but these things bite like nothing else. Um, so the purpose, <laughs> the reason that I did this is whenever I'm going up a tree and I set my stick, it kind of gives you that free hand. It's not falling all over the place. Um, but we're gonna talk about these sticks, the way they lock together, the usability of them, the 350 pound weight rating, that's huge for something this light. And then the overall weight, length, width, and everything else about these sticks. Number one, if you like any of the XOP products, right there, there's your little discount code. Feel free to use it. Um, Cause over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna start with these X2 sticks. We've got both of their new lock-ons. We've got their new saddle. Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna run through every bit of the XOP lineup. So make sure you like and subscribe because you don't wanna miss this. We always talk about XOP and the bang for your buck. They are made for the blue collar guys. They have all the perks of all the other stuff that's on the market at a discounted price, it seems like. So make sure you like and subscribe and don't miss out on those videos. But let's go ahead and talk about these X2 sticks. Number one, I left these two locked together. You can see there, these little black things are their locking mechanisms. So basically, all you do is you line them up back and forth, snap them in there together. Um, and you can snap all four of them together. I know with my pack, I usually go two and two, stick them over on the sides. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set these down and we're gonna talk about the actual stick itself. So number one, these things are insanely lightweight. I know that um, I think they're just over a pound and a half a piece. They come in just over six pounds for four. Uh, so, you know, in my eyes, that's three pounds each side of my pack. It's not very much weight, especially when you throw it together with their new lock-ons that are insanely light. Um, and we're gonna be doing that later on this week. But back to this thing, you got 17 inches top to bottom. So it's a good side step. It's not one of your extremely long ones. It's not a shorty. It's 17 inches, it's lightweight. Side to side, you've got 10 inches. Uh, and then probably my biggest part about it. So one thing that I hate is during the winter time, you got those thick boots on, you're trying to climb up the tree and your toes are hitting the tree. XOP come out and I think it is the largest standoff if I'm not mistaken. You can quote me in the comments down below, but it's got a five inch standoff. And one big deal for me is, is whenever I'm climbing that tree, my feet aren't digging into the tree. I'm not hitting the tree and trying to push off the stick. It's got a great standoff for you guys with the big hooves. The next thing we're going to talk about is the aider setup. So it comes with the holes already ready. You can put whatever aider you want to on there or the pre-drilled holes on the side for the am steel. Again, that's just another big deal because you don't have to mod these. They're already pre-modded right out of the factory. Um, so that's a big deal with them as well. The next thing I'm going to hit on, which might not sound very big to everybody else, but it is to me because I'm cheap, is they come with a lifetime metal warranty. So um, if the metal messes up on these, you strip something out, you break something, get with XOP, they'll replace them. These sticks are absolutely hard to beat. We're gonna kind of go through this one that's on the tree and how I strap them on. Um, I do use the pull straps. I know a lot of guys will take and they will mod them and get rid of the pull strap and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but understand when you do that, you're gonna drop some of the weight on them anyways. Um, so they're gonna come in even lighter than what they're advertised. So let me get over here, get one of those straps. We'll go to this one and I'll kind of walk you through that. All right, so when you're on the internet and you see these um, these sticks sitting like this with no strap on them, and you kind of wonder like, ah, oh, well, why is that important or whatever? I'm gonna tell you right now why that's important to me. And the reason being is whenever I'm going up a tree, whether I be in a saddle or if I'm in a lock-on, um, the reason that's important is the way it's set up right here. I can have my sticks hooked to my side and as I go up, I can take the stick, bam, jam it on there. And now if I'm in my saddle and I'm hanging over to the side, I'm not having to touch that thing. It's just kind of dangling, basically pre-locked into the tree. So what I do is I'll go ahead, put my strap on like this, lean into it, come around the other side. Again, this thing basically holds itself on a tree tighten my strap up and then I like to bring my excess part around push it down so that it's locked in good now it's locked onto the tree but what that thing does the way that it grips that tree so well it just gives you basically a free hand it's like having three three hands in the tree because you can take it 
jam it on the tree, hands free, put your strap around, and then whenever you go to tighten it, obviously you'll grab back a hold of it. These sticks are absolutely hard to beat. Like I said, you can take them like this and snap them together if you wanted to, and then you can carry all four of them. All you have to do, guys, whenever you're doing it, is make sure that you're staggering them so you can see the top. So you just have to stagger them out a little bit to make sure they're not hitting. You can stack all four of them on there together. We'll go ahead and pull this one. Again, you just hit the little release. Pull that guy off. And then you can kind of choose which side you want to stick it on. I'm sticking on the other side or this side. Come back around over here, actually. I think it might make my life a little easier. But pick your hole, push, push, and you're stacked together, ready to go. That is the X2 Sticks by XOP. And I'm telling you guys now, these things are going to be hard to beat. Um, like I said, make sure that you like and subscribe because we are fixing to go through the whole new lineup of XOP products. We've got the lock-ons inside. I've been playing with them for the last two days, and those things are freaking phenomenal. So, hey, guys, until later in the week, good hunting, and uh, the next time we'll see you, we'll see you from a lock-on.